five. September 11th, 2001. Worst domestic terrorist incident in U.S. history. 5.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. American Airlines Flight 11 crashes into the South Tower of the World Trade Center. A little over 20 minutes later, United Flight 175 crashes into the North Tower. At about 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the first tower crashed. And shortly thereafter, the second tower falls. Over 3,000 people died, and 6,000 were injured. And this was a four coordinated attack by Al Qaeda. They attacked Trade Center, they attacked the Pentagon, and they attempted to attack the White House. Fortunately for us, um, many brave Americans um, basically challenged that uh, hijack and caused the plane to crash in Pennsylvania. You remember what you were doing when this happened? I do. I was driving to work, and all of a sudden I heard a radio uh, commentary come on saying there's a national emergency. A plane has crashed into uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. At that point, they weren't quite sure that it was a terrorist accident, but they knew that it was something major. And obviously when the second crash occurred, they knew there was something more sinister. At that point, my wife called me and said, I'm watching this on TV. The, the tower is beginning to collapse. And none of us could believe I don't think any any new could believe it, or anybody, even the television commentators couldn't believe it. They were flabbergasted. Well, how does this relate to our company? It relates because we assess the aircraft of uh, the airlines. And not only us, LA County, but many counties in California assess the airlines and the aircraft of the airlines. Now what occurred after this incident was that the airlines suddenly were filing assessment appeals and they were filing court challenges. And what they basically said was, we're overvaluing their aircraft. And they challenged the valuation method that we have been using. We've been using this method for many, many years. And specifically what they were challenging was that we should be calculating the economic obsolescence on their planes. Their planes now are going to be flying in a different model. For three straight days, the, air, the aircraft couldn't fly. The, air, the air, um, airports were all closed. Following that, people were afraid to fly. And so there was no question that this was going to impact the value of the aircraft. So what was needed, and Assessor Arbach asked me, because I was the acting chair of the Aircraft Advisory Subcommittee, he asked me, why don't you talk to the rest of the airline and see if you can come up with a new formula. The new formula would have to consider economic obsolescence so that we wouldn't have these assessment appeals each and every year by all the airlines. Because after all, United Airlines and American Airlines, they took the lead. It was their aircraft that we used, and they felt very strongly that we were overrunning the airplanes. So we, we collaborated. We collaborated amongst the counties, and we also reached out to the airlines thought maybe we could somehow reach an agreement on a new valuation method. After several meetings with the counties, including the airlines, somehow we reached agreement. It, it took quite a long time. I think we, at one point, wrote up settlement agreements for 67 versions, tweaking, changing. It was hard to really match the needs of all the different uh, airlines that were out there, but somehow we, we were able to do it. And uh, ultimately, we reached settlement agreements, and we proposed new legislation, 401.17, that was passed unanimously by the state legislature and signed by the governor. So where does that put us today? Well, that original legislation was in 2005. It was extended in 2010 because everyone agreed it was fair. It was fair to not only the airlines, but it was fair to the counties. And there was peace. So that was supposed to extend the legislation to 2015. Okay, but at that point, <coughs> we uh, 
we reached the point where there was another catastrophe that occurred for all intents and purposes. There was the real estate meltdown that occurred in 2008 and continued on. And so notwithstanding that we had a disagreement with the airlines, they began filing appeals again. And what they said was, basically, the odds losses that you granted us is not satisfactory. They have an outstanding appeal for 2009. Uh, we fought vigorously at that appeal. That appeal with American Airlines that currently is under submission, and we'll probably be hearing uh, the results of that sometime soon. But, once again, the California Assessors Association has asked our county, as the lead county uh, for the Credit Advisory Subcommittee, to look at that legislation going forward to make and tweak it such that it would be updated. And it would be, again, be a viable um, document, viable legislation that perhaps the airlines would agree with. Now, the reason I brought this up is because this is an example of how counties can collaborate. And they can collaborate in a way that they can perhaps agree with industry and perhaps not. But they can collaborate. This is, this is really the point I'm trying to make to executive management, senior management, is that we need, this is a model we need to do going forward. We need to see how we can brainstorm with other counties in California and collaborate with them to come up with solutions to these issues. And these solutions, these really can be more cost effective for our county and other counties because we're now sharing information and we're achieving consensus on how best to move forward. And it's not all being the brain trust of one county, it's the brain trust of several counties. And so as, uh, as a member of executive management, I want us all to start thinking about how can we collaborate better with other counties to come to better solutions, to save costs, error where cost cutting is ongoing. And, and that's what I'd like to leave you with. I'd like to leave you with thinking about how in each one of our divisions, to the extent possible, we can collaborate with our county and perhaps collaborate with industry to save costs, to brainstorm, and to move forward, and move forward in an effective county. Any questions?